Hospitals in Sydney are under pressure as infections in Australia's larger city hit another daily record. More than 900 new cases have been reported in New South Wales. That's despite the state being under lockdown for two months. At least one hospital has reduced ambulance arrivals and has shifted critical patients to other hospitals. Danielle Robertson joins us from Sydney for more. Danielle, cases in ICUs are rising, but the Premier says hospitalisation rates are still relatively low. Yeah, that's right. As cases climb to new heights in New South Wales, the stress on the healthcare system is really starting to show. In one hospital, in one of the hotspot areas of New South Wales, uh, we have seen that they have had to move their emergency operations to an entirely different location because they were overwhelmed. They were seeing about 75 COVID-positive patients every day. We have seen ambulances line up outside hospitals, doctors who've seen patients outside, and staff are saying that they're overworked and overwhelmed. At the moment, there are more than 640 patients in hospitals across the state and the number of people in ICU has increased by 46% just in the last week. So it is climbing and this really does come amid increased uptake of vaccinations and amid Sydney's strictest lockdown that uh, this city and the state has ever seen during this pandemic. While the health minister says that the system is coping, staff are telling a different story. So at the moment, there is this huge strain on hospital systems and many are struggling to cope. And despite the surge in Sydney, the government is pressing other states to stick to reopening plans. Yeah, well, six million jabs have gone into arms and that was the target for the state premier that she promised she would start to ease restrictions and she does seem to be sticking to that plan. Today, there was a crisis cabinet meeting that was held that was... Uh, that did discuss the restrictions that are set to be eased in the coming weeks, particularly, of course, for fully vaccinated people. It does seem that Retail, uh, retailers like hairdressers and nail salons will be one of the first to reopen. But this has been criticised, especially from uh, the likes of the Doctors' Association who say it's too risky to open up just yet and they fear that opening up uh, now could cause an even further surge in cases. So there is some concern uh, over this talk at the moment. Sydney is about to enter its 10th week of lockdown and we haven't seen an easing of those COVID COVID cases, they continue to soar. And it isn't until the population reaches 80% of fully vaccination, 80% of double dose, that we are going to see the state collectively be able to uh, open up and ease restrictions. And it doesn't look like that 80% target is going to be reached until around November. So still a while yet. All right, Maria, thanks for getting us up to speed. Danielle Robertson in Sydney.